Hello everyone. God bless you. This is Brandy and I'm back to read the word of God with you. I pray everyone is doing well. Hope you can hear me well. Excuse me here. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. I don't own the rights to this music. So we're, we left off. It's been a while. It's been a minute. But we left off at uh, Proverbs 23. And so I'm going to get started with that. Blessings to everyone. God bless you. And we're, guess what? We're still in the uh, Message Bible of Proverbs. So we're going to start with Proverbs 23. It says here, verse 1, it says, When you go out to eat with an influential person, mind your manners. Don't gobble your food. Don't take with, hallelujah, don't, don't ta talk with your mouth open or full. Glory to God. Don't stuff yourself. Bridle your appetite. Don't wear yourself out trying to get rich. Restrain yourself. Riches disappear in the blink of an eye. Wealth sprouts wings and flies off into the wild blue yonder. Proverbs 23, Message Bible, verse 6, it says, Don't accept a meal from a tight wad. Don't accept a meal from a, a stingy person. Don't expect anything special. He'll be as stingy. <laughs> he'll be as stingy with you as he is with himself. He'll say, eat, drink. Aha, uh -huh, this is what he said. Oh, eat as much as you want. Drink as much as you want. But won't mean it. But they won't even mean it. He's a miser. He's miserly serving. Will turn <laughs> his stingy. Uh, giving is going to turn in your stomach when you realize the meal meals a sham when you realize he was just he was just uh he didn't mean be welcome he's welcoming you and, and eat as much as you want he's actually stingy he's a miser and it, 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 it and it turns in your stomach once you realize you've been played don't bother talking sense to a fool they'll only poke fun at your words don't cast your pearls among swine. That's what I hear right there. You're just going to trample over them. It's not going to mean nothing. Your words, your wisdom has no value to a pig. It has no wisdom. Your words, your words, your wisdom has no value to a dog. They just trample over your words. Don't uh, uh, stealthily move back the boundary lines or cheat orphan, orphans out of uh, their property. Don't cheat orphans out of their property, for they have a powerful advocate with a capital A, a powerful advocate who will go to bat for them. Give yourselves, hallelujah, to disciplined instruction. Open your eyes to tested knowledge. Don't be afraid to correct your young ones. Don't be afraid to correct your children. A spanking won't kill them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. A spanking will not kill them. A good spanking, in fact, might save them from something worse than death. Dear child, if you become wise, I'll be one happy parent. My heart will dance and sing to the tuneful truth you will speak. Don't for a minute envy careless rebels don't for a minute envy careless rebels soak yourself in the fear of God soak yourself in the awe of God soak yourself in respecting God that that where that where your future that's where your future lies so so if I'm, I'm meditating on respecting God I'm, I'm 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 seeking how I can respect God I'm seeking and desiring glory to God to have a, a, a real relationship with relationship with God I, in the deepest, deepest sense. Hallelujah. Because that's where my future lies. My future lies in knowing God. My future lies in, hallelujah, being a, 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 a pleasing to God, a delight to God. That's where my future lies. Then it says you won't be left with an armload of nothing. <laughs> hallelujah. When my focus is on God, it's no way if I'm saturated in Jesus, if I'm thinking about Jesus, if, I, if that's my where my mind is, there's no way I'm going without. 
Hallelujah. Verse 15, it says, I'm sorry, verse 19. It says, oh, listen, dear children, become wise. Point your life in the right direction. Don't drink too much wine and get drunk. Don't eat too much food and get fat. Drunks and gluttons will end up on skid row. Hallelujah. In a stupor and dressed in rags. My God. Verse 25 of, uh, of Proverbs 23, Message Bible. Is, I'm sorry, verse 22, Message Bible. Hallelujah. Uh, Proverbs 23, it says, Listen with respect to the father who raised you. And when your mother grows old, don't neglect her. Buy truth. Don't sell it for love or money. Buy truth. Don't sell it. Hallelujah. For love or money. Glory to God. Father God, you're so good. Hallelujah. By wisdom, by instruction, by insight. Parents rejoice when their children turn out well. Wise children become proud parents. So make your father happy. Make your glory to God, your mother proud. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse 26. Dear children, I want your full attention. Please do. Hallelujah. What I show you. A prostitute is a bottomless pit. A loose woman can get you in deep trouble fast. Very fast. Hallelujah. Father God, keep us, oh God. She'll, she will take you for all you've got. She's worse than a pack of thieves. Who are the people who are always crying the blues? Who are the people that's always crying the blues? Who do that? Who do you know who reeks of self-pity? Hallelujah. We're not doing no pity parties over here. Glory to God. We thank God. Hallelujah. We go through stuff. We don't stay there though. We, hallelujah. Every day is not going to be a beautiful day, but we bless God. Hallelujah. Even if we're going through something, we don't do pity parties. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Who keeps getting beaten up for no reason at all? Who keeps getting beat up for no reason at all? Whose eyes are blurry and bloodshot? It's those who spend the night with a bottle of drinks. A bottle of drunkenness. That's what it is. Hallelujah. For whom, for whom drinking is a serious business. For that person, drinking is a is serious business. They can't go a night or a day without drinking. My God. This person gets hallelujah. They, they, they drown in their pities away in this drink. Hallelujah. They get blurry eyes, bloodshot. I mean, when you get blurry eyes, because I've been, I've been, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. I've been drunk a time or two. Thank God I don't have to go that way no more. But I know that you, your vision is blurred. You're stumbling all over the place. You don't know what's going on. Just drinking your sorrows down the, th down the drink, down the bottle. Don't judge wine by its label. Don't judge the drink by its label or its banquet. Or, or it's bouquet, or, yeah, banquet. Or it's full bodied flavor. My God. Don't judge it by its label. Don't judge it by its full body flavor. Judge it rather by the hangover. This is Message Bible. Judge it rather by the hangover it leaves you with. So when I used to drink, I used to, <laughs> I'm almost ashamed to say this type of drink I had. I think it was at a, um, What's it called? Steel Reserve. Uh-uh. No. Judge it. The Bible's telling you, don't look at the label. Judge it by the hangover it leaves you with. The splitting headache and the queasy stomach. Do you really prefer seeing double? Do you really prefer being a drunkard? Do you really prefer having slurred speech, railing, Hallelujah. And seasick, drunk as a sailor. They hit me, you'll say, but it didn't hurt. Or you hit somebody and you didn't feel it. You don't, hallelujah. You don't harm the person that you hit and don't, and, it, and you didn't, it didn't even harm you. It didn't touch you. You didn't even feel it. You don't even re remember it, actually. They beat me, 
They beat on me, but I didn't feel a thing. When I'm sober enough to manage it, bring me another drink. When I'm sober enough to handle this thing, Come on, this is a serious person in, in, uh, giving over to, to, to strong drink. This is an alcoholic here. My God. When I'm sober enough, now I didn't I hurt somebody. I didn't feel it, but I'm ready to drink again. Because I got pity. I'm self, I got self-pity. I'm reeking in self-pity. My God, help us, Lord. Hallelujah. Proverbs. 24 verse 1 it says don't envy bad people don't even want to be around them all they think about is all they think about is causing a disturbance come on y'all all they talk about is making trouble it takes wisdom to build a house and understanding to set it on a firm foundation it takes knowledge to furnish its rooms up with fine furniture and beautiful draperies. It's better to be wise than strong intelligence outranks muscle any day. My God, glory to God. Strategic planning, glory to God, is key to warfare. Strategic, my God, I thank you. Is strategic planning is key to warfare to win and you hallelujah you need a good a lot of good uh -huh, counsel come on y'all listen hallelujah the key to winning a warfare to winning a battle against the enemy is strategic planning what's that how do you get some strategic planning through the word of god hallelujah and being filled with the holy spirit you get your strategic planning there Lots of prayer, lots of seeking Father, lots of humbling yourself, getting on your knees. Hallelujah, you're laying prostrate before God. Lord, I need your planning. I need your strategic planning. I need you to guide me. I need you to direct me. I need your, hallelujah, good counsel. It's nothing like good counsel. Wise conversation in verse, hallelujah. Verse seven, it says, of uh, hallelujah, Proverbs 24. Wise conversation, I'm sorry, is uh, way over the head for fools. Wise conversation. Glory to God. This thing is really messing with my music today. Hallelujah. But you know what? I don't need music for that. Wise conversation. Glory to God. Is way over the head of fools. In a serious discussion, they haven't a clue. The person who always Who's, who's always cooking up some evil in verse 8 soon gets a reputation as prince of, uh, of rogues fools incubate sin cynics desecrate beauty if you fall to pieces in a crisis there wasn't much to you in the first place glory to God Lord God let us be steadfast hallelujah unmovable glory to god always abounding glory to god in the works of the lord steadfast if, if the bible says if hallelujah if you fall to pieces in a crisis there wasn't much to you in the first place let us be steady in god let us be hallelujah our feet steadfast our feet planted in god anchored in christ jesus let us be that Hallelujah. When the winds blow up against us. Hallelujah. We're so founded on the rock. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When the crisis comes, we don't fall off. We don't fall off to pieces. Glory to God. Verse 11, it says of, of Proverbs 24, Message Bible. Rescuing. I mean, sorry. Rescue the perishing. Don't hesitate to step in and help. If you say, hey, that's none of my business. Will, uh -huh, will that get you off the hook? Question mark. If you say, my God, my God, hallelujah, that's none of my business. Will that get you off the hook? Someone is watching you closely. Boy, don't I know it. You know, someone is watching you closely, you know. Someone not impressed with weak excuses. Verse 13 through 14, it says here, eat honey, dear children. It is good for you. Hallelujah. And delicacy the delicacies that melt in your mouth 
Likewise, knowledge, likewise, glory to God, and wisdom. Likewise, knowledge and wisdom for your soul. Hallelujah. The same way. Hallelujah. Honey is good for you. Glory to God. Knowledge and wisdom is good for our soul. Get that. And your future, your future is secured. Your hope is on a solid rock. Yes, we're built on a solid rock. We're hewn from a hallelujah. From the rock. Don't interfere with good people's lives. Come on. Don't try to get the best of them. That's what I'm talking about. No matter how many times you trip them up. Good God loyal. God loyal people. Don't stay down long. Soon they're soon they're up on their feet. Glory to God. While the wicked end up flat on their faces. Don't interfere. Verse 15 through 16 of uh, Proverbs 24 says, don't interfere with good people's lives. Don't try to get the best of them. No matter how many times you try to trip them up. God loyal people that are anchored in God, people that trust God, people that believe God in Christ Jesus, people that fill with the Holy Spirit, people that love God. Don't stay down long. Soon they'll be up on their feet again while the wicked will fall flat on their face. Don't laugh. Don't laugh, though. Here it is. Here it is. 17 through 18. Don't laugh when your enemies fall. Oh, God, don't gloat over his collapse. God might see it and become very provoked and then take pity on his plight. Give it over to God. That's all I say. And Lord, honestly, I don't even want to see it anyway. I, I, even though the Bible says I will see it, but I don't want to see it, Father God. That's you between you and them. I love them. I love my enemies. Let them be blessed. Hallelujah. I forgive them. I forgive all of them. And I pray that they forgive me. If I made somebody my enemy, I pray that they can forgive me. I forgive all of them. Glory to God. I pray they forgive me. Hallelujah. Verse 19 through 20. Don't bother your head with braggarts don't bother your come on don't bother your soul with braggarts or wish you could succeed like the wicked those people have no future at all they are headed down a dead end street fear god come on dear children respect your leaders don't be defiant Hallelujah, are mutinous. Without warning, your life can turn upside down. And that is the truth. And who knows how or when it might happen. More sayings, more sayings of the wise. An honest answer. Glory to God. Verse 23. It's wrong, very wrong to go along with injustice. Whoever whitewashes the wicked gets a black mark in the history books but whoever exposes the wicked will be thanked and rewarded verse 26 an honest answer is like a war a warm hug an honest answer is like a warm hug first plant your field then build your barns don't talk about your neighbors behind their backs glory to god no slanderer or gossip Please, no slander or gossip, please. Don't say to anyone, I'll get back at, at you for what you did to me. Glory to God. Let God handle this thing. Hallelujah. I'll make you pay for what you did. Don't say that. Don't say to anyone, I'll get back at you for what you did to me. I'll make you pay for what you did. Don't say it, y'all. It's not even worth it. One day I walked by the field. Of an old la of, of, of an old lazy bones. Hallelujah. And then past the vineyard of a slob. They were overgrown with weeds, thick with thistle, all the fences broken down. I took a long look. I looked at this thing and pondered what I saw. The fields preached to me a sermon, and I listened. A nap here, a nap there. A day off here, a day off there. Set back, take it easy. Do you know what comes next? 
question mark. Just this, you can look forward to a dirty, poor life with poverty as your permanent house guest. My God, hallelujah. I just heard the Lord say, clean your yards, y'all. Glory to God. Keep your yards neat. Keep around your places neat, your homes neat. My God, there's no, listen, if it's something, it's, if it's stuff around your yard, there's no days off with that. There's no days off. Keep it neat and God is going to bless you. He's going to increase you. It says that poverty is your permanent house guest. If you don't keep those things clean, if you just, just let it go to waste, you know, those things are a blessing. When God blesses you with your own place and stuff like that, or, play, you know, a house or whatever, he wants to see how diligent you are with that, you know, keeping it up and keeping it neat and stuff. So, guys, God bless you. I know it's been a minute. That was Proverbs 24, and the previous one was 23. And I will be back with, I'm going to try to finish this up, y'all, 25 and 26. Glory to God. Ha! Have a good one, y'all. Bye-bye.